Anyway, it's the final showdown of the final finalness now. This must be the final battle if it's called the final showdown in the finale chapter. Let's see what happens. Some bullshit, probably. It's like, Welkin and Alicia only versus these this guy. That would be fucked up. If it does that, I'm going to be sad. But also, there must be a strat to it. Here are your final orders. Anyway, let's see. Final orders. Time has finally come to settle things with Maximilian. I assume he's capable of neutralizing any attack you send his way, the same as the other Valkyr we've seen. That said, Maximilian's Valkyrian powers are a result of the sum device. They're artificial. They ain't real. I'm certain we'll hell have a weak point somewhere on that deck. Find it, then lob every bullet and bomb you've got at it. Your objective is to defeat Maximilian once and for all. Take that maniac out, put an end to the, this war, sevens. And while it may not stop bullets, I hope you won't forget that you go with an entire nation's hopes for peace. Alright. You got it, dude. Uh, okay. And we do have the tanks. And Zaka isn't gone forever. Okay, that's double good. Alright, so we do have the tanks. So it's probably a good thing I've upgraded my tank a little bit. That's good. That's good. I'm less annoyed by it that I leveled it up a little bit. That's good. Um, let's do that. I'm pretty much going to use the same motherfuckers I've been using. I don't know what we need to blow up, though. That's my only thing. I'm like, I have no idea. I'm about to bring, like... An extra scout just so I can move farther, like assuming that I need to move somewhere and destroy something. <sighs> what else? What else though? What else? What else? What else? I'm gonna bring an extra one of these because he might have tanks around. I don't know. I'm gonna bring Walter. Fuck you, Hector. You were con inconsistent as fuck for me last time, sir. All right, we're all set to begin. Let's take Dahlia back with our own hands, Sevens. Let's take that shit back, homie. I, I got you. I got you. That's all I can do during fucking loading screens. Make my own interesting. This is beat. our final operation. Let's end this war. Squad seven, move out. All right. Let's see what we got. Final battle is upon us. What's he got, motherfucker? Immediately hate that there's two turrets or something at the beginning. Immediately hate that. Up on the Marmota's deck, eh? Nice spot for a showdown. It's just a shame we got no audience. My shamrock's chomping at the bit for a piece of this action. I mean, you didn't do shit last time. You blew up and didn't do a goddamn thing. The Edelweiss is also all ready to go, sir. Sure it is, Crease. We're ready for your orders, Welkin. Let's fucking okay. do this. Let's get started, Sevens. Our target is the enemy commander, Maximilian himself. You got it, dude. Watch it crumble in the jungle. Alright, so what do we got? So these are obviously powering him or something. There's some towers here because it looks like they're connected to him. But he also has one that's way over here. I wonder if we could snipe that shit or if it has to be an explosive. Anyway, besides that, there's these armored towers. So it's just a bunch of towers. Okay. Noted. Well. We you missed if I didn't start with the tank just to see what we got. That doesn't hurt us, which is good. How much can we do to this tower right now? Huh, what's the weak spot on the tower, man? One to kill? Oh! Ah! Ah! Anyway. Actually. Putting the tank in a position where I can put the other tank next to it's a good idea. Way ahead of you.
actually a small battle to do. Oh, okay, so these do take one shot. Maybe you just have to deactivate them, but they don't get destroyed. Oh, I see. They don't get destroyed, they just deactivate. That's unfortunate. Just try and stop me! I guess I'm gonna see if I can shoot him. Like oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I didn't realize. I didn't realize. Shit. Go down. Fuck! Why you gotta miss? Damn it, Walter. Just watch this. Come on, Largo, you got this. Largo doesn't got this. This is going really well on the first turn, for sure. Uh, I mean, I might as well just take more shots. I don't even know if another fucking type of gun works. I'm not having... Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let me try Sniper. I'm just, I gotta see if other guns do anything. I just have to. I'll do my best. I'm guessing the other characters are gonna be there for when I need to start doing damage to him. Also, ah! Okay. Move! I didn't realize he was gonna fucking wreck my shit. Is there any reason to shoot this thing? Nope. Gotta be an explosive, bro. Alright. Well, Sniper seems pointless other than maybe do damage to him when the time comes. Man. Okay. Trying things out. Just doesn't really... It's not really helping. Anyway. I should have just done that from the beginning and just fucking tank the whole damn thing with tanks. I'm not even gonna move up because I don't want him to get behind me. Way ahead of you. I'm gonna take a shot at that shit though. Yeah! Now you ain't got no fucking shit, bitch. Should have just done that from the beginning. That's alright. We'll get to see what he does now. Kill it though. He still has a shield, even though he destroyed the things that he was attached to. So I wonder what that is all about. Does he get two turns? He does. Well, that could be bad for our tanks. We're okay though. We okay. The real question is, is now what? Okay, so, the, so I guess the idea is to take out the towers and then shoot him after you do that. That's what it seems like to me. Alright. Then that's the goal. Basically, you gotta do that all in the same turn. Way ahead of you. Fire. Okay. Main goal is just take these shits out, man. Also, the shamrock. When? How, did he shoot the shamrock once and the idle vice once? Dang, he fucked them both up. I should have brought two engineers. God damn. spread people out. Other people were getting hit with damage from him. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. 
How many turns do I got left? Let me, let me give, it, let me give him a snipe and see what happens if I can. Where he at? Can I hit him now? It did damage. That's good. Problem is the counter attack. Yeah, I I thought so. But at least it did damage. That was a headshot, by the way. That's crazy. Yes! That one managed to connect! Sweet! So he was using the towers to induce an artificial Valkyria state. Yeah, we know. Alright, everybody. Keep your sights trained on those energy towers. So we have the basic idea of how to do damage, but man, this is gonna take a while. That's all we can do. <sighs> okay, um, man, how do I want to do this? I really need to make the shamrock not Leave die. It to me. I wonder if it's worth just shooting him with a tank. I wonder if that's worth it. We're gonna find out. Like just bomb on his ass with this thing and see what happens. Oh shit, that did hella good damage. Alright, we're doing that. That's our new plan. We're doing that. That was way better. Oh my god. Did anybody else get all fucked up from any of the things that happened earlier? Not really, right? We're okay? Be nice if I could take out these turrets with my goddamn lancers. If the, like these left and right ones right here. Obviously I think he's going to start connecting to some of these other towers eventually. And I wish I could take another shot at him. Alright, well I do want to... I want to pick the sniper up, so I'm going to do that. I should use Nose. I'm, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna send Hans away. I'm gonna bring in an extra engineer just in case. Okay. Well, here we go again. What you got, sir? Oh my god, he got all his health back. So what is that? How do you deal with that then? You can't kill him in one turn. He has too much defense for that. I'm just glad the Shamrock survived. Holy shit. Well, he's running away far enough to where I can, like, not get hit by him by some of my characters. That's a good thing. Question is, which towers is he going to use? Yeah, he definitely connected some different towers this time. All right, let's see if we can pot shot this tower next to me first. I really would like to. There we go. Fucking hey, I just had bad luck the last time. Shit. All right. All right. I have no idea why I'm moving this guy up, but I'm doing it. Okay. Largo, you gonna do the same thing, boyo. Except you're gonna take a shot at this one. I know it's far away, but whatever. Damn it! Whatever the hell that was got in the way. Damn it. Alright. Um. Okay. 
I was gonna bring in another engineer, so let me do that before I forget. Right away. Gotta heal the shamrock. It's dying, literally. Spread these things out. They're taking too much damage while they're sitting next to each other. Ah! Idle vice, you're killing me, bro. This means this turn we ain't doing damage. Damn it. Leave it to me. That's what it really means. In that case, we're just gonna heal this motherfucker. All the way. Now I'm gonna move over here. I'm about to just save up all my goddamn CP. Leave it to move me. Move the shamrock up as well. I can't let him feel like he's safe, you know? Fire. Always gotta keep him running. Alright. Now we'll save the rest of my CP, which is only three, but I'll save it. This is an interesting battle, to say the least. Oh, shit. He killed it in one hit? Full health? Wow. I was not expecting him to do that. Well, then. Well, the idle vice is fucked, then. Or not. Wait, he got another turn? The hell? Be gone. Oh no, he hit. Alright, well, we get to start that over. <laughs> what the fuck are you supposed to do differently? Wow. That was interesting. Huh. That was interesting. I'm like trying to think like what could I have done differently? I'm not even 100% sure I know. I mean, I know some of the stuff I didn't do correctly to start, but like in the long run, if he could just kill my tank so fast, and if I can't if I can't keep damage on him, what's the point? Man. This boss is pretty hard. I mean, I get that, but like what do you do? Do you have to kill him in one turn? Just tell me that. Is there a way to get this around the having to kill operation. him in one turn Let's and I just haven't discovered war. it yet? Because if you have to kill him in one turn, not like the first turn, but I mean like if you don't do it all in one turn, does he just always heal? There's got to be a way around that, right? Simple yes or no will do. Think so? Man, Destroyer, you are a ball of useful information. Okay, so. I. I'm still not 100% sure how I'm going to do this yet, but. TV screen. I'm not, in your, I'm not in the mood right now. Fire. Fuck! You hit that twice in a row last time. You can't hit it this time. Shamrock killing me. Well, if I don't hit the far yeah, one, yeah. we don't even have a chance anyway. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh my god, Shamrock. You did it twice last time in a row. Oh my god. Here we go. Welcome to Shamrock. Now. Wow, that wasn't even close. Wow. Just wow. I already hate this attempt. I have hit nothing. I am just whiffing everything right now. Are you kidding me? You're done. That was that was just yep. Roger that. Finally have answer to my question. You don't have to kill him in one turn. So there is a way around that shit. I can't even hit these towers, so it doesn't even matter right now. If I can't even hit the towers, it's over. <laughs> Unless I'm supposed to just... Like, I'm trying to think like... I'm about to end this turn. I, I'm trying to think like... Besides getting the towers quickly and doing damage to them... Like, do a couple of these towers heal him? They must, right? And also, how do I avoid fucking dying... In one shot! Sorry, everyone. I think I understand. If you don't destroy the towers, you get a game over. I think I just... It just hit me. Because he'll just blow your shit up. You have to destroy the towers. There's no other option. It just occurred to me that the first time and the last when I first did the battle, I didn't get hit, or I did. I destroyed all three towers both both my first two turns, but the third turn I didn't, and that's when he destroyed everything. So basically, you have to take out the towers, else he will kill you. Simple as that. Well, what kind of bullshit is that? The this best is time. our final operation. Let's end this war. Squad Seven, move out. I don't want to move out anymore, Welkin. I'm already kind of mad at the situation that this battle has presented to me, which is kind of bullshit. But wow. I'm making this harder than it is. Should I be not should I be using a different kind of explosive on the on the fucking things? Can I use the guns? Can I use guns? I guess that's a question I should answer for myself. Gotta do things the hard way, man. Okay, you can use guns. That answers that question. Can I use the grenade on this shit? I won't kill it. Nah, I won't land on it though. How do you think we got here? We do things the hard way. And then after that, you tell me how to do it the way I should have done it, and I go, oh, that makes sense. And then we move on with our lives, because the game's over. <laughs> fucking this thing in, with this thing? Like, it's too close, right? What if I just use the machine gun? Four shots, two kill. Fourteen to kill? Oh, because the other one was almost dead. Should definitely not be using Alicia. Yeah, I kind of didn't like that either, so that's why I stopped doing it. Um, well, this one is hopefully. 
<laughs> I kind of want to take an L on this one already. I just don't know what the best way to shoot these things down is going to be. Is it going to be a gunner? Ain't no stopping me. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do damage on these things. Like, without having to use goddamn answers and shit. Actually, that works really good, surprisingly. I mean, sniping it didn't work at all, right? Like, I tried to snipe it, it didn't do anything. So that works pretty good. Yeah, dang! Let me just 100% confirm that sniping didn't work on the town. Because I'm not even 100% sure. It does say one shot, one kill. Oh my god, it actually worked. Well, that changes everything. It certainly does. It was the only thing that could make me happier about the situation. Alright, fine. I definitely was doing things the hard way. Alright, I kind of want to start over now. I don't even want to... I don't want to... I'm, I'm actually going to just let him kill me, if he, if he will. I'm okay with it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start over and do this one more time. Now that I kind of have an idea of what's better to use on these towers, let's just start over. Wow, he just wiped out everybody. No. Please. Just reload? No, nah, it's funnier to watch me die. I deserve it. <laughs> Surprised he didn't kill me one hit. He must have not got a direct hit. Or maybe because he only has one tower. not even gonna take a shot at me oh my god just kill me dude I already know how to do it thanks game just kill me dude he wants me to reload I'll believe it if he doesn't kill me now Be gone. No. I think it's because I wasn't... I didn't have the tower. Dude, he just killed, like, everything. Did you see that? He killed the other tank also. <laughs> Good lord. So, okay, I'm starting to understand at least how his power works, too. One tower versus two towers versus, you know... I think that actually... He does less damage if you take at least one, of their, one or two towers. His, his power actually... Is exponential based on the tower, so that's good to know, too. I didn't really... I didn't really confirm any of that till that turn, so that's good. All right. So I feel better about this battle at least. Probably still gonna fuck it up a few times before I actually get it right, but we'll see. All right, so hmm, I'm trying to think like where I could hmm, like a better spot to stand to snipe that fucking tower in the back. Also, kind of wish I had two snipers just so I had the extra bullets if I need them. It's okay, if I fail again, this I'll. Our final operation. Let's end this if I fail war. again, I'll just. Squad uh... seven, move out. This is probably your favorite boss fight in the game. Yes. I, I don't know if I agree with that. It's a cool idea, I guess, for having. It being how like this is the this feels almost like the most boss fightish boss we've had just because it's unique and it's literally just the boss with his own little like special way to get him. You 
won't hit that. Yeah! Okay. Cool. Power on the first shot. That feels good. And the real question is, do I want to snipe each other those also? Kinda. Pretty sure I can get an angle at the one on the right. I'm not gonna be able to get them both though. Wait, four shots? Oh, this one's got more HP, so it won't, it won't die in one shot? Oh, uh, well. Now I know. So Barry is not a good boss. I kind of agree with that. Well, let's just hope that Tom's just kills that thing. Right, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with how that went, as long as it went down. Also, Alicia totally helped with that, which is nice. Um, you can move over here. Then they can work together. Wait. Get an angle so we can actually help. Yeah, double teaming on these towers is a good idea. Undodgeable! Wait, what? Am I too far away? I'm too far away. Well, I told you I'd fuck it up at least once before this, before I get it right. I'm like too far away by like a fucking inch. God damn it! That pisses me off. Ain't no stopping me. I can't believe I was too far away by like an inch. I just wasted two turns on that shit. Oh my god. I'm upset. I don't even know what I want to do now. I'm like, I just waste, I'm wasting my first fucking wave here, unfortunately. Whatever, we'll just get in position, that's fine. Oops, hit the wall. Don't miss when it's right in front of you. Fire! Thank you. That's all I wanted. <sighs> I just want to spread out so we can't just destroy everybody in one fucking hand. I'm about to fucking hit this fool with this shit. Get out of here. Sit down, motherfucker. One to do. Uh, I wonder if you can do good damage on him with other things. You probably can. I wonder if Alicia could like do a good grenade launcher on him or something. I'm just trying to think like what other ways I can shoot at him. See how that goes. Actually, that worked pretty good. It actually worked pretty damn good because it hit him and he couldn't shoot her at her. That was actually kind of smart. Only problem with that is I can only do it one shot per turn and then otherwise I gotta reload. Go down! Oh my god, I got stuck on something that was not cool. bitch. I'm just practicing at this point. I'm still expecting to fuck this round up, no matter what. Uh, and here I was considering, like, getting rid of one of my units. Now I kind of don't want to get rid of any of them. Um, 
Alright, fuck it. Let's just see what he does. I gotta keep seeing what his tendencies are, because I feel like I'm still gonna get destroyed one of these times. Wait, he still has damage. So he doesn't heal all the way. I just saw that. He only heals a certain amount. At least according to what I see right now. That's good to know if that's the case. He did heal a, a good amount, but he didn't heal all the way. But I'm assuming he's going to heal a certain amount every turn, so i got to make sure I always do damage. That's one thing I probably need to make sure I do. So let's try to do that. On the move now. Sniper, you know what to do. Not snipe that down. Actually, I didn't even realize you could go over here. Nice. I thought this shit was blocked. Oh, it's going to take two shots to get this, though. Still better than trying to hit it with something else. On the move now. Well, the more I try this battle, the more it's starting to feel less and less annoying. I just have to get the right strats down. Yes. Did I go power snipers or accuracy? I think I'm on accuracy still. I think that's where I left it. I haven't changed it. Actually, I have what... I, I'm not even sure, actually. I actually, actually, right actually... Don't die, Dallas! Oh my god, don't die. The front lines made enemy contact. It's our that tower! Shit! And that's probably the case. Alright, I'm changing out my team. I kind of forgot about that tower. I don't know why. It's right there. I'm an idiot. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. If I was using the power snipers, I can one-shot the farthest ones. Stay with us. It, won't be long it makes sense. Please help. You know what makes even more sense? Ignoring that you said that. You're playing on, player. <laughs> I'll do my best. Ah. Uh. I'm not gonna be able to shoot it now. Damn it! Ah, fuck you. Oh well. Okay, so I feel like I need two snipers, unless I'm gonna bring in a different sniper rifle. I feel like I need two snipers and two engineers, and I don't think I'm gonna need these guys with the explosives at all. Roger that. Honestly. Because they're too inaccurate, and I'm not gonna move them up on the attack. Attack Maximilian with them. The machine gunners at least can help me take out the close up guns relatively easily if I get close enough. So I think I'm just gonna call in. Well, I need an engineer now. I lost an engineer. I'm gonna call in an extra sniper. And I'm gonna call in another replacement engineer because the other bitch dead. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna lose just because my tanks are already damaged and yeah, bad news. But, uh, whatever. Um. Yeah, whatever. That's all I can say. If I can get rid of the other tower, which I'm gonna try right now. Oh my god. Computer or TV screen. Don't play with me right now. Yeah. If I can't hit it, we're done. It's, it's okay. I'll take an L. I'm just gonna switch my party around next next time around. Let's just see what happens. 
he doesn't happen to beat me right now, good for me, but he's gonna. Okay, we're learning. We're learning. Ah. Sorry, I dropped my phone. That's why I went uh... up. <laughs> you didn't even kill me. Come on, man. You're better than that. I guess it only matters if he doesn't shoot at me again, but we'll see. The fact that he goes all the way back there actually helps a lot, because then you can snipe his shit if you have the snipers. Like, snipe those towers back there. That really is the way to go. Fair enough. And it seems like he just focuses on the tanks, so if you can just keep your tanks alive, you can pretty much do this, I think. Alright, so we got, he revived, oh, the towers are different now. Armored tower. So I'd only want to snipe the one in the back. Now that I understand how different these towers are, that's good, that's good uh, knowledge to have. Let's, uh, let's do some fuck em ups, shall we? That tower. It's kind of like finding the best way to take out each tower. Maybe the middle tower is the one you want to use the la the lancers on. I guess I could try to just shoot with the tank. Cause I don't want to snipe that middle one. You know, let's get Cesari on the backside over here to get this other. He can he can hit this other tower. Then I'll have one guy on each side. Even if it is going to take two shots, unfortunately. Order's in order. Yeah, really, though. Just to have Silver Silveria kill herself and then he's over here strutting around like a fucking punk ass bitch. See what you get? See what you get? You get fucked up. You see what you get? You get fucked up. Okay. Um. Really need to heal my tanks. They're kind of dying. Be nice if I could get over there and heal one of them. Understood. I'm only worried about that, that, that tower to the left. But I should be able to get behind a wall. Or behind the tank. Even. Actually, I'm not sure that. I'm not sure that tower can actually reach me from here. It might not have hella good range. Thank you. Vulcan, are you alright? Vulcan, are you okay? Art thou fine? Thou art not okay. I'm actually gonna move yeah. up Herbert to heal the yeah. other one, because Mr. Shamrock's not looking too good either. Welcome to Shamrock. I don't think anyone here has the ability to poison anyone, Carl. Hey, man, he's ready to not be poisoned, okay? We can all be appreciative of that, okay? Anyway, I'm about to move my other tank up as well, so let's just get my engineers in position to heal my tanks. What's the best way to take out these ones? Mid-range? They got a thousand. I guess this is the turn to find out, because we don't know. And the only way to know is to throw some bullets at it. Okay, well that's not close enough, apparently. Is it because it's armored? I think it's because it's armored I need to use a machine. Like, a, it has to be an explosive. Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't think about that. Oh, well. Now I know. So I guess I have to use the tank on which is what I was thinking of doing in the first place, but I had to confirm. Steel always fires me up. Dude, stop being stuck. Two shots. If you hit it! Oh my god. You're killing me, bro. Whatever. It's fine. At this point, we're just positioning. 
taking out the tower at this point is just so he does less damage to me next turn. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just gonna heal the Idlevice right now. I need it. I'll do my best. Carl! Feel my tank, Carl! Thank you. All right, let's see what happens. Am I dead? We're gonna find out. He didn't kill me last turn. He had one tower. Let's see what he does. What you gonna do, Max? You ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do shit. So can he only shoot before he moves? Because that's what happened right there. He only shoot, shoots and then he moves. If he moves, he can't shoot. Seems weird. Or that's just an AI thing. Like, I don't know. towers you using this time, boyo? The far ones? I'm actually glad you went for the far ones, sir. Easier to stay behind and shoot the far ones. Cesare! Towers down. See what you get. And I'm out of ammo. Keep that in mind. Might have been better off to run back to the base. Too late. Move Next now. turn. Actually, Can I hit it from here. Yay! Go, Oscar! Go, Oscar! Yes. I was a little worried that wasn't gonna hit. We're good. All right, so our main goal now: take out this fucking turret, this tower in front of me, the shamrock here. Fire! Welcome to Shamrock. The shitty part is I have to, to use me. this two times. Why? But at least I got it. So, I guess there is reason to use a tank there. I thought the sniper rifle couldn't do damage to the armor tower. It seemed like it couldn't. Anyway, I'll I need to heal my tank. Wow, just can. Look at all this I don't even steel. know if I can get to where my tank's at to be, to be safe. Does he have full health again? He does, okay. So yeah, I didn't do damage last time. We gotta start doing damage to him, though. Um, I don't even know how the best way I want to do damage right now is. Dude, how did Nos get all the way back here? <laughs> he got knocked or something. I don't think I put him back over there. Anyway, I'm just gonna do that twice. I'm just gonna do that two times. Entering combat. Hope he takes a little, keeps a little bit of that damage. Cause the thing is, I can refill the ammo pretty easily with my engineer nearby. That's my best damage right there, honestly. If I can get a few hits of that in in the same turn, a bunch of times, we should be able to win this, like, relatively fast. But the taking the towers out is obviously a problem, so I gotta keep keep that consistent. Also, whatever he's gonna do, we'll, we'll find out. He's gonna keep attacking my tank. 
or he's gonna well, he went for the other tank, which is actually fine with me. That's all right by me, cause it had full health. And it looks like he has a pattern of where he walks. Like he's just gonna go the same way every time. Oh, is he walking forward right now? That would be a problem. I hope he stays back over there. I hope he stays where he's at. Like he starts walking back behind the building. That's what I hope he does. Ah, shit. Well, fuck. Wait, that was Oscar? Wait, what? He got Oscar? How did that even happen? Oscar's hella far away. That fucking straight line ass attack just hits everything in the way, man. Fuck that attack. I'm starting to feel like I should have kept one Lancer. Just for the middle towers. Which he has one again. I can't believe you got Oscar, you fuck. Um, okay, so... What am I doing? Um... Let me see if the Idlevice can take this... I don't think we're gonna be able to take these towers out in one shot, are you? This one? No. I had to check. I just want to be in position to shoot him if I get a chance. So the my problem now, because I can't kill these towers in one shot. Cesare only has one bullet too. Oh my god, this is, yeah, this is going to be a failed attempt again. Maybe I should switch to power snipers. I'm starting to feel like I should. That's for sure. Either way, gotta get my tank. Hold on. I don't want to do anything. Oh my God, are you serious, Herbert? The most useless motherfucker in the history of motherfuckers. Put a like a lancer up here and just fucking pop these things. Mm. Right now I'm just like thinking because I know I'm probably not gonna win this attempt and I might change a couple things just just to help me out here. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna call this attempt an L only because I want to change who I'm using and I think I really am gonna switch snipers. I think I am. Which means I am going to load my save. Because I got to go back and refit everything. Which is fine. Let's change a couple things about how we do this. Switch snipers. Ah, uh, let's see. Wait, do I have to switch it though? Let me see how we do this. Oscar. Yeah, if my snipers miss all the time, I'm going to be upset. GSR 10 on. Okay, hold up. Hold up. I did use a lot of my money earlier, so I might not have enough to like make it ridiculously powerful.
She looks like I'm gonna be able to at least get it a few more levels. Actually, I might be able to go pretty high. Might not be able to max it, but we'll be close. Oof, short by 16k. Alright, well, let's see if this makes the difference. I mean, besides this, this is just one step of it. The other thing is I'm going to switch who I'm using from the beginning, so I hopefully can manage it better with the snipers and all that. So the Brondle. Range will go down... Wait, but my power is not even as good. This still does more damage. Right? I'm not reading that wrong, right? Is this not my strongest sniper? Am I reading this wrong? Is it just that my snipers aren't strong enough? Is that what it is? Like, my sniper class needs to be stronger, basically. Because this is still telling me this is the best chance, like, these are the best snipers I have, basically. For all stats. I'm a little saddened by that revelation well then yeah I'm pretty sure I'm using the best sniper I have I think it's just because my snipers aren't strong enough I think that's all it is anyway whatever I'm switching formation so whatever that that last attempt was I didn't quit just because of the sniper thing that was just one thing I was gonna change I was gonna swap out who I'm using I'm gonna bring one Lancer to go mid-range as soon as I get a chance to move up. And I'm going to try to make sure I do damage every time I get a time. I, I'm going to try. Alright, anyway. Let's do the position. And we'll bring in two engineers. Okay, so Alicia... Do I even need her? I should bring her just because she's good, but man. No, wait. I, I do want... I do want to... I just remembered, I do want two of these guys, because they do, uh... Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Alright. Oscar here. Cesari on that side. Let's put... Dallas on this side. Carl on the other. Fucking Herbert is so useless. I should swap out my damn army and take Herbert's useless ass out. So useless. Anyway, we're bringing Largo, and we're bringing... Oh, actually, that means I'm only bringing one gunner, and I want two. Nah, I could do with one gunner. One gunner should be fine. Because I can just have them go twice, so what am I even... We're good. That should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm just thinking, like, is that what I really want to do? It is. It all is. Right. We're all... Because if the gunner doesn't run out of bullets, she can go twice. If she has to go back and forth to shoot both of those towers in the beginning, she can do that. That can be arranged. My only problem in the very beginning is my tanks are in the way. Like, I need them to block stuff. So, yeah. You got to go to sleep, FML? All right, man. See you later. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry you're going to miss the finale finale, assuming I can beat this tonight. Which I think I'm pretty much... Locked in, gonna finish this tonight because I don't give a fuck how long it takes. I'm doing it. This is happening. This is our final operation. Let's end this war. Squad seven, Let's move end out. This war, motherfucker. Going for the win. Going for the win this time. Going for the win this time, motherfucker. Going for the win. Going for the win this time. Going for the win, motherfucker. Shut all of your mouths. I'm busy here. Uh, I know it's crumbling. Stop it. Uh, uh. 
Okay. Um. Yeah, in the interest of not fucking up the very beginning here, let's just. I want to. I really do. I'll do my Fuck best. It. I'm. I'm gonna go for the towers. I'm gonna go for the towers. Oh shit, ah oh, shit, ah oh, shit. She went for that tower first. Ah, oh, fuck. Concentrate your fire, everyone. Well that's Oh, oh Please. I don't sense a victory this round. Let's do this thing. I don't sense it anymore. There was a chance. There it goes. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'll take care of it. There's still a chance. It's just a bad. I was just a wasted one turn, assuming that I can salvage this, which I should be able to salvage this. Okay, I was about to cry if Rosie didn't kill that right there. Long of peace. Ain't no I don't even know what that means, but if it gets me across alive, I'm all for it. Let's do this thing. All right, that's what I should have done first. I'm an idiot. Should have done that first. That makes sense. Okay. Now. Order's in order. All right. Now we can focus on Le Damage. See what you get? Enemy unit neutral. See, that could happen in 3 that could have happened in 3 CP. Had I not fucked it all up. We'll get over it. Somehow, we will persevere and get over it. I'm just gonna bring Oscar back next turn, basically. And hopefully I only need to snipe one time next turn, not two. Well, when I say one, I mean one t tower. Obviously, it'll take two snipes. Take another shot at him with this. Now. Ah, fuck your shit. I really wish he went flying when you hit him, or like moving a little bit. He just eats that shit. He's like, mmm, tasty. Um, Leave it to yeah, I'm gonna me. move the other tank up just for the in the interest of moving it up, so it's not all right. Wreck everybody. Also, he gets three mortars. That's pretty Fly. nice. Ah! Yeah, that doesn't even do anywhere near as much as the idle vice. Holy shit. Oh, wow. I did enough damage for him to get mad. Very well. We shall see how you fare once the power output is raised to its limit. What the fuck does that mean? That's not good. I don't like that. What does he do? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, he got rid of his shield. Oh, and he backed up. Oh, this changes everything. Well, then. What does that really mean, though? Like, he backed up all the way. Oh. Oh. I'm not sure what that really means. Huh. Uh well in the interest of taking up the middle tower quickly quicklier, I'm moving Largo up now. Right here. I was gonna move him up further, but any further and he'll get shot. I'll move my tank first next time. Um and uh, I guess we'll move up okay. Alicia. Let's try and decide how I want to move up. I want to get in range where I can actually have other people damage him, not just the tanks if I need to. 
I don't know what's gonna happen now that he moved and he moved back. Like in the first turn, I got him to this point. What does that mean for the rest of this battle? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Does he move back up or is he just gonna stay way the fuck back there? No, he's moving. He's definitely moving. He just mad. It just makes him reset, I guess. Also, what I'm guessing is since he threw the shield away, he has less defense. That's what I'm hoping. So, like, take the towers out and you do more damage. That'd be really nice. Wow. He didn't even get close enough to attack me. Wow, okay. Man, I might have, like, kind of not broke it, but, like, found a good way to start the battle off if you get him to run away right away. That helps us out a lot, because then he has to move back toward us to attack us. I think that worked out quite nicely. Okay. So he did go one for one mid-range tower. And then he's got two back towers. One of them is the easy tower, though. Alright, well, let me get fucking Oscar on his way back. So my main concern now is I gotta take out two towers. Let's start with this one, though. Wait. Oh. Wait. Which one's the one he activated? Oh, it's the one on the left. I can shoot from here. That's good. At least he has the balls to take you one on one. Imagine if he had other troops. True. If there was an other troops in this battle, this battle would be fucking impossible. With this tower shit and other troops. They would have to take away his ability to heal himself or something to make it reasonable. See what you get? Good work. Keep it up. Lucky for me, I have enough ammo to shoot one more time. If I didn't, I do have engineers right here. So. I just want to make sure we do some damage. Alright, so we got the far towers. That's good. I'm happy about that. Now I just gotta figure out how to get this mid-range tower. I'm hoping I can kill it with the fucking with Largo. Apparently he's at such an angle that he can't hit me. That's good. You're done. All right, Largo. Yeah, this is better than using two tank turns, for sure. Yes. Oh my God. Largo, finally being the man. How many turns do I got here? I got six. Which means I got... Ooh. Okay, I should have one mortar. Damn it, I'm not going to be able to hit him with two mortars, though. I only got one. I can hit him with two mortars with the other tank, though. I wonder if I should do that or if I should refill my tank. Hmm. He did take a pretty good chunk of damage there. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I am going to heal my tank. Or fill, refill my tank, rather. Right away. <sighs> and then I'm gonna run back, I guess. Ooh. <laughs> Try to get me. But I still think the damage from the idle vice is just that much better. And that way I'll have two more shots for next turn also. Yeah, see, we have him half dead again. So that's good. Anyway, my plan now is to actually shoot a grenade launcher at him. I'll use a... Uh, I'll use a Yusha for that. Yup. Yup, yup. Woo! Alright, this is going good. Let's just expect him to fuck it all up. Here we go. 
Let's see what he's got. He's all up on my grill now. What's the difference? We're going to find out. He hasn't even done any damage to me yet because he moved away after the first turn. Let's see what extra power does. Uh-oh. Shamrock is severely damaged, but not dead. That's good. Did he still get two turns? What did he even do? He didn't hit anybody else. I thought it was like an AoE. He like basically did like a mortar, I guess. I don't even know what the fuck he did. Did he use only one turn on that too? Still gets two turns after that, huh? Okay, cool. I was scared he was gonna walk down there and fuck Alicia up. Nah, we're good. Is he walking back right now? He is. Okay, cool. That's good. That means I'll have an angle to kill any of the middle towers if I need to. With Largo. I might be able to win on this turn if I can do enough damage. It all depends on taking out the towers efficiently, though. Depends on the towers. Which towers we got? So we got a close tower. I like that. I'm glad one of those pops up. A middle... Two middle towers? Ew, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. I don't like that there's two middle towers. That's that's double U. Largo doesn't have enough bullets for that shit. Well, I definitely am not going to win on this turn because of that. Pretty much alone. <sighs> Alright, let's get rid of the close tower first so nobody else gets fucked up by it. Me. Ain't no stop me. No. Go down. Yeah, it really does fuck up my shit having both middle towers. Like one middle tower, okay. Both? You're an ass. That's all I can say. Fuck you. How about that? Here. So, right, Largo should have two bullets right now, I think. I wonder if I should take a shot at it or. I mean. I can move up. He's behind a wall now, so I can move up like right here. I just want to stay in range so my engineer can actually refill. I'm going to take both these shots, have the engineer go refill him, and then I guess shoot at the other one? I don't really have much other options. At least it's not all towers so far if they did all towers in one turn this battle would turn to horse shit immediately all right anyway bringing one of my engineers over here luckily i have one right here oh never mind that is dumb well she's not that I don't know why I said that was done. That wasn't them at all. That was exactly what I wanted. It's <laughs> exactly who I wanted and what I wanted. I don't know why I said that was done. Exactly. <laughs> all right, Largo. You should handle this for me, sir. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're fucking done. You're fucking done. This. I'm not sure where I want him to stand, honestly. I don't know. This motherfucker doesn't really go for my characters. He only goes for the tanks. So I don't know if Largo's even in danger if I leave him right there. I have no idea. Other than just being in the way of something. I don't know. Let's just move him up. That way if he moves across, he maybe doesn't have an angle. I don't know. Alright. Get the idle vice in range. Hopefully we can pull more of this guy. A times and that'll be the turn. Can I reach him? Yep. Yo. Oh shit, we got two? Oh man, I wish I had another mortar. Actually, I could have the other guy take a shot, huh? I guess I could. Or I could refill again. I don't want to do this. 
I mean, I'm not going to kill him right now, no matter what. Oh, well, actually, if I hit him with a mortar and a grenade, will he die right now? Oh, I can't hit him with... I can't move the mortar. Oh, also, he's about to die. You know what? I am going to use last turns. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to heal this tank, just in case. Because if I need extra damage next turn, I'll be mad that uh, I lose my tank. Thanks, buddy. So let's make sure that's a thing. And I'm gonna have I'm gonna move Alicia up and have her grenade launch this motherfucker. My turn, okay? That's what she do, man. That's what she do. I just don't know how close she needs to be to like, get a good shot. Like, right here might be. What is your situation? Right, right here might be good. I just can't see. You know? We're clear to advance. I just can't see, you know. Okay, there you go. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, I probably could have killed him if I could have got him with the mortar and another one more shot, but unfortunately, that wasn't available at the moment. That's okay, though. I think next turn we can win if he doesn't go and do something crazy right now. Let's see. Let's see what happens. This could be the end. This could be the end. It's either the end or it's the end, one way or the other. Don't be gone with me, sir. Okay, the Adamice can handle another one of those if it needs to. Oh, he's coming right at me. Oh, okay. Interesting choice, sir. Uh-oh. I don't know if that's good for me. If I'm in the way, what does that mean for me? I don't know. I don't like this. I'm actually a little concerned now. Please don't. Okay, this concerns me a little bit. Now I'm scared. He's too close. Uh-oh. Okay. I was, like, clinching so hard. Like, please don't kill me. Clinching, clinching. Clenching, I think is the word I was looking for. Clenching so hard. Okay. Well, my tank is totally blocking him. anybody shoot him getting shot from that other side. Oh, the middle towers again? You are a fuck right now, bro. You are a fuck. Let's do this thing. It's like the game knows that's the ones you don't want. Go down. Is it you or is he actually doing less damage in this phase? I have no idea. Or maybe it was always like this and you were just scared. But if you take out the towers, it's going to do less damage, right? So if I didn't take out the towers at all, like if I didn't take out all three towers, I'd be more concerned. My only goal is to make sure all the towers die every time. Because otherwise he will probably kill my tanks. We don't want them. Also, is Largo in a dangerous spot? No, he's actually in a perfect spot. I'm more concerned about getting my uh, engineer over here to reload. I should be able to move back over here, like, no problem. Because he's, like, behind the thing. I might be able to bring... Actually, I can bring my engineer up the other side. We're, we're actually pretty much perfect spot now that I think about it. I can just chill right here. Good wait here. Bring my engineer up the other way. Get these towers out. <gasps> no, he missed! No! Why would you miss? That's a waste of turn. Okay, well, cool. Okay. Here, I thought I was going to win this turn. I don't think that's going to happen now that that happened. Why does he have to have the middle towers? Why can't you just have one far tower and no middle towers? Or one middle tower, dick. Dick Ooh, bag. Miss Alicia. I'm actually thinking I probably want to heal my tank twice right now, so let's try and kill these fucking towers on this turn, please. Like, on this pat, These three shots make them fucking count, sir. Fuck! Are you serious?
Largo. Bruh, you were doing so good. So good. And now you missed twice in a row, dude. Man. Killing me, Largo. Seriously. Whatever, I'm basically using all the resources I have to to make sure that these towers go down this turn and I heal my tank all the way. Like, no matter how it goes down, that has to happen. Wait, I shot two? I still have one more. Pretty sure I did. Oh my god, if you kill it in one shot, that'll redeem you. Doesn't redeem you. It's only double tank damage, so it's not going to do double damage on that shit. Wishful thinking. Leave it to me. Leave it to Beaver. Heal my goddamn tank. Thank you. Guess this allows me to get my my engineer out of there for the moment. We'll probably be okay for this turn as long as Largo doesn't fuck it up again. He's got one more shot. Or he got actually he has three shots. I just reloaded his whole thing. Okay, so I'm at least gonna get to do some damage to this fucker, so at least he won't heal all the way. Alright. The problem right now, though, is this fucker is all up on my tank, and I don't know if I can hit him with a fucking mortar. Entering combat. Now. We good. I guess I'm gonna have Alicia shoot another grenade at him okay. just for maximum amount of damage on this turn. I guess it shows me if it's gonna hit him. No, it didn't hit him? Oh! Whatever. Here we go. Next turn, I guess I'll win if he doesn't do the two middle towers again. Fuck, man. Just one different tower. Like, any other two towers besides the two middle ones. Those ones are the most annoying because they take two rockets. Of course, if he kills my tank, then it doesn't matter anyways. But I'm pretty sure we can withstand two explosions at this point. We just learned that last turn. As long as he doesn't have a fucking... Oh, no, he's going through the middle. No, I didn't want that. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, I don't like that. Mm, I don't like that at all. Oh, no, he's behind my tank. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> does that matter when he does the explosion instead of the shot? We're going to find out. Be gone. I hope it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. And we actually, he actually hit people with an AOE this time. Well, I'm really glad that happened, but I'm also really worried now because of where he is right now. Holy shit. Just don't be the middle two. Be the far one so I have a chance. Oh, actually that works too. Okay, cool. It's the same. Okay, that actually works, works out alright. Alright, I'm alright with this setup right now. I'm a little concerned, but I'm not overly concerned. Which is good. Here I come. It should be kind of doable. I'm a little worried about this other one on the left, but I think I can probably... Actually, he doesn't... Does he do counterattacks anymore? I don't even know. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to be happy that he's not shooting at me. Just take out these fucking towers. So does he not do attacks? I mean, he does. Maybe when you're behind him, he just doesn't. It must be just because we're behind him. Anyway, this is going to be very efficient, and we're going to do damage to him. We're probably going to win right here, right now. Like, unless the sniper shit goes downhill. Also, I totally could have just used Oscar for that shit. It's fine. 
Oscar could have redeemed his failure in the beginning. Oh well. It all matters if Cesari misses. Oscar might have a chance to. Nope. Okay, so the real question is how do we line this up for victory? Oh, my treads are gone. I was like, why can't I move? Never mind, we're okay. I think we're okay. I'm thinking this will still hit him. I hope. Okay, we're good. Do that one more time. You could definitely easily do this in two turns. He's so close. He's so close. I'm thinking just do it with the shamrock and hopefully he just dies right here. Yes! Did I win? Did I beat the game? God, I hope so. God, I fucking hope so. <sighs> Impossible. Alice is the power of the Velker. How? How are we beaten? Maximilian, you lost the moment you began to rely on the Valkyra's power. Yeah, what he said. Hey, I still got a brink. That's not too bad. Five turns? That's not that's not horrible. That's not horrible. Not bad at all. Well, 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 guys. I really, really hope that's the end of the game. Let's watch some cutscenes and hopefully some credits. I don't really hope for credits, but there's gonna be credits. Damn you. Dogs of Gallia. It's time to surrender, Maximilian. Your war is over. <laughs> Surrender, you say. I think you forget. We Valkyra can give our lives to fuel a blazing hot inferno of destruction. Ah, shit, dog. Don't do this. It doesn't have to end like this. It seems our dreams are not to be. Well, then. Join us! Let Galia fall to ash! I don't think so. Wah wah! Gone limp, have you, sir? What? Wah, wah. How? Why has it stopped? My guess is it's because I killed the power supply. Got him! It's Fabio! You made it! I snuck out in time to hitch a ride on this monster. I'm sorry it took me so long to stop the engine. <laughs> Amanda! Ah! What are you doing? Let's go! Sorry, buddy. But I can't do that. No! What are you doing, Faldio? This is insane! Folio, stop! Welcome, Alicia. No matter my reasons, I was wrong to have betrayed you. Now, it's time that I paid for what I have done. Let go! Let us go now! Look at the two of us, thinking power could save us. Now it's our cue to lead the stage. Farewell, Welkin, Alicia. Best of luck. He just wanted to go out dramatically. He's like, he 
just he just feels bad because he shot Alicia that one time. I don't think he's gonna survive that one. Just I'm just gonna guess. I'm just gonna guess. That I don't think he made it. Just maybe. They'll be fine. They'll be in the next game. Fabio and Maximilian OTP forever. Gonna be the main characters of the next game together. <laughs> Hey boss! Alicia! Hey boss! Logan, you're all right? Yeah, except for that. Our way is blocked off. The entire deck's gone up! We can't cross! All of you, go on and get out of here! Not a chance, boss! You get over here! We're leaving together or not at all! We're gonna look around and find a way to connect to your side! Dude, he's got a Valkyrie with him. He's gonna be fine. Cause. Alicia, let's find a way up. Right. Lead on. I'm not afraid when I'm with you. Ever. Now let's go. Thanks. We don't got time to make out right now. But maybe later. I mean, unless we're gonna die. and then In which case, we can make out. Totally. Of course, you gotta take me back to the menu real quick so you can, you know, click on the last scene myself. All right, well, let's watch the last scene. Assuming that there's probably going to be, like, a finale scene, unless this is the finale scene. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's no use. There's it's no, no use! Oh shit. It's the aeroplane. Hang in there. I'm coming for you. Leon. Wilkin, that's Isara's plane. Yeah. Fucking damn right it is. <laughs> Rip Isara though, for real. God damn it. We got to jump. No problem. Coming in hot. Fuck that. What is this, some kind of video game? That's not real. Get it jumping and down on there playing like that. Come on. Woo! That was a close one, bro. Leon, it must have taken forever to finish building this. Where did you find the time? After we lost Isara, Casey and myself, well. Everyone in the squad really came by to pitch in a hand. It was Isara's dream, you know? So, uh, it wasn't hard finding help. I don't suppose it was. Isara, you'll always live inside us. The dreams you left that day, now they're all of ours. Rest in peace. So tell me, bro, how far are we going today? This baby could take us clear across the sea if we want. Back home. Back to a free country. Our friends are waiting. Take us to Rangrees. That's not home. Home is the town of Bruh. That's home. Fuck Rangrees. Whatever. Whatever. So is that it? Or are we gonna get more scenes? We gotta get more scenes, right? Anyway, Galleon Militia Squad 7. Oh shit, we're gonna go through the squad. Who lived and who died, guys? Are you guys ready to be really sad about who actually died? Commander of the Empire's invasion of Anyway, she's talking shaped the way for truce between the two nations. After seven tumultuous months at war, Gallians everywhere looked forward to a time of hard-won peace. 
Squad 7 of the Gallian militia disbanded shortly after the conflict's conclusion. And its members began to move on, each following his or her own. Claudia, no! Come back, Claudia! Marina, oh and no! Here, at the end of their <laughs> long struggle, I lay my pen to rest. Well, rip Claudia and rip Marina. Wah, 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 wah. And I guess that's it, huh? I mean, there might be like an after credit scene, but I'm assuming you're going to throw the Valkyrie Chronicle logo, Chronicle logo at me. You're going to roll the credits, baby. Oh, yeah. We in there. Let's go. Valkyrie Chronicles in the bank. Let's go. All right. Awesome. Finally done with this game. I mean, not that I haven't been enjoying myself. This actually has been a better game than expected, I'm not going to lie. When I first started playing it, I wasn't sure this was going to be kind of tactic game I was going to enjoy. By the time we got to the end, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought. Um, the story, most tactic games have good stories, unsurprisingly. And this one, really, I mean, it, it kind of had a straightforward story overall, other than the Valkyrie stuff. Like, that was the only real, like, superpower... Uh, what do you want to call it, like fantasy aspect to it, which is pretty cool. But overall, it's a fun game. I enjoyed myself. Had a good time. I guess I'm happy you guys kept freaking suggesting it forever and finally pushed me to do it, damn it, with the damn boat. But at least it's done. Another PS3 backlog game off my goddamn shelf done. This is one of those games I've had on that shelf for a while, and it's just sitting there because of Let's Plays. I just never got around to it never felt like it being the next let's play until now all right well cool and i already know people are going to be like are you going to do the second game third game fourth game more games all these valkyrie chronicle games i will not even touch that question right now because it's going to be a while before i even want to play another one of these valkyrie chronicles games let alone if or not if i ever want to play them as a let's play i don't even know whether they're good or bad is irrelevant tactic games are a hell of an undertaking let's just put it that way i don't know this isn't like as slow as something that like a like a top-down tactical board tactic game but it is still time consuming if you fail you have to do the whole mission over unless you make save states or whatever you have to save in the middle of battle and yeah i'm aware that um Valkyrie Chronicles 2 and 3 would have to be PSP or emulated if I was going to do them, but that doesn't mean I can't do them. Doesn't mean it can't happen, but it does mean I probably won't do them anytime soon, let alone maybe ever. We'll see. I might find some other shit I'd rather do instead, and I'm pretty sure I will. Because I would say out of the different genres of RPG games, tactics is probably on my lower end of favorites. I mean, there's not like a million different types of RPGs. I guess it's in the middle. It's not really at the lower end. It's more of the middle. We'll put it in the middle. Because I love Final Fantasy Tactics. It's like my favorite game. But this isn't like Final Fantasy Tactics at all. <laughs> it's not my favorite game, but it's one of my top ten. You know. But anyway, yeah. It's good times. I enjoyed this. It's, it, it's been fun. It was nice to finally experience the series to know what it's about. And know that if I did want to do another one, I understand it. So, yeah. That's good to know. Like, I won't be intimidated by whatever I'm about to get myself into. I just know what I'm... The style of the game. So I'll be like, okay, at least I know the style. Let's go try it out, you know? Regardless of how bullshit some of the battles may or may not be or whatever. But yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say about it. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. I don't know... I didn't really have to read anything, unlike most RPGs I play where I have to read a bunch of dialogue. This one I had minimal amount of dialogue I had to read, so there's a lot of lulls of me just not saying anything and listening to dialogue, or a lot listening to uh, yeah, dialogue, and then and or just doing battles where there's not a lot for me to say other than try and tell you what I'm thinking when I'm doing my tactics, because realistically I'm still trying to figure out myself when it's blind, you know? And you get to see all the dumb dumbness that goes along with it. That's always fun. Yeah. Fun times. It does... Now that we're done with this, though, it's nice as we can finally move on to a new RPG game. Which I've been wanting to start for a while now. Not not necessarily this RPG that I want to. I just wanted to move on, honestly. I wanted to be done with this game like a week and a half ago, at least. But 
the ending took these last like five chapters took a lot of work. Also, upon retirement from the armed forces, Eleanor began and still manages in publishing outfit. Following her marriage to Largo, her holidays are now spent helping out on a farm under the shade of a straw hat he made her. Largo, leaving military service after the war, Largo returned to his hometown to restore family farm. After offering Eleanor a bouquet large enough to fill an ox cart and a gold ring and ten years worth of love, the two were finally married. Nice. Rosie, Brigitte Stark. The war's end marked the birth of a new star. Her hit song, A Love Passed On, became an anthem during the years of the Galaxy of Revival. She now travels Europe on a constant tour, but returns home yearly to visit Star's grave. Zaka returned home to establish the Fozen Toy Factory to bring smiles back to Galaxy's War orphans. The Enigma Box, a three dimensional jigsaw puzzle with a hundred possible shapes, is currently the hottest one in the market. Kreese Zerny has been returning to school to get his master's degree. Kreese delved into passion research in the field of aeronautic engineering and graduated from the Institute of Cornerstone of Contemporary Thought of Flight. Got it. Leon Schmidt, speed demon since the days he piloted the SARS airplane, Leon subsequently became a racer by trade. He has to slow down after taking gold at his first event. He continues to race the competition across Europa. Cordelia, after the war's end, she publicly confessed her heritage, shocking the masses. Her candor won the support of most Galleons. However, and she now leads Galleon both name and fact. She remains single amidst the merit some marriage offers. Oh, yeah. That's it? We don't get, I guess, the last. We still got more credits to go, so we'll probably get like a Vulcan Alicia final scene or something. We gotta have a, like a shower scene with them, right? Both of them in the shower together, happily ever after. No, maybe. No, probably. Not. We got them at the beach. That's as good as we're gonna get. It's as good as we're gonna get. Oh well. What else is there for me to say? I don't know. I got nothing. I got nothing. I guess I could maybe hint at the next game I'm going to play, but honestly, I don't really need to. I mean, I it's been a while since I talked about it. Not like a long last time. It's been a minute since I talked about it. But I will say that I probably won't be starting until after this next weekend. Because, yeah, I just won't have time until sometime next week, probably. One last little handhold. Oh yeah, that's right. The flower ring. Will you marry me? After this war. <laughs> Alright. Is that the end, folks? Is that at that, that that's all? Oh wait, wait, wait. One final scene. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sea of flowers. That's the lion paw or whatever, right? Yo. The bustling town of Bru. Mr. G! You gotta take us bug hunting again soon, okay? You bet. You know, I think you're ready for my top secret hunting spot. Yippee! Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Not just tomorrow. call him Mr. G, yep. y'all. Go right along home now. Welcome, Gunther. After the war, he returned to his studies. Many had thought the Galleon hero would rise to further fame. But Welkin had something else in mind. He returned to Bruel, there to realize his long-held dream of becoming a teacher. On weekends, he's often seen taking his students out on nature hikes. His is a peaceful civilian life, and he would have it no other way. Until the next war. Also, gotta rebuild that windmill, yo. And of course, the bread shop! Thank you for choosing Alicia's. Hey, honey. How's business today? Hey. Hmm. We like her better in the ponytail or the pigtail. Hey, you. What a surprise. Guess what? So I started selling the smoked cheese bread today, and everybody loves it. Of course. Told you that bread was great. Guess everyone in town agrees with me. Yeah. <laughs> Alicia Gunther. Trading in her rifle for a rolling pin, Alicia trained around the clock to pursue her dream. After many long months, she received her national certification as Baker. On the same day, she married her sweetheart, Welkin Gunther. Boop. Together, the two opened Alicia's Bakery, 
It didn't take long for word to spread about her delicious creations. And now, even visitors from far away make a point of stopping to sample her fresh baked bread. Watch well, sample that bread. You? How are your classes today? Ah, uh, you know, those kids never seem to run out of questions. <laughs> you know, they're amazing. Their curiosity's endless. That's so. Then you're a kid too. You're as incurably curious as any one of them. <laughs> Speaking of kids, how's Isara been today? Oh shit. Nice. Oh shit, and they still got the pig? The oh. fuck? That's the longest living pig ever. Papa! Oh. Hey there. Have you been a good girl? Yep. I was real good. I was just helping Mama make some bread. I needed the dough all by myself. Oh, I wish you could have tasted the bread that dough made. Our customer said it was the best ever. Hey, Isara, that's really great. All right, you show me how and I'll help, okay? Yay! Come on, Papa, I'll teach you. <laughs> Alrighty then. And of course, the old photo of the sevens. The only people that matter. The only people, Destroyer. The only. Also, yeah, I totally noticed that too, Tony. The, the grown ass woman doing the voice of the kid. I noticed that also. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, that girl's got a deep voice. <laughs> Well, guys, that's the end. Hope you enjoyed. Whoop de whoop, jiggle whoop. That's the end. Yeah, uh, you heard what I said, Destroyer. The only people that mattered were in that picture. So anyway, you can create a save data, whatever. You can carry over. Oh, you can carry over shit to a new game. New game plus. All right, tomorrow we start new game plus Valkyria. No, no, no. Are you serial right now? No, no, no. No, no. We're done here, dog. We done here. Again, thank you guys for watching this series. Hope you enjoyed. Hope I did at least a little bit of justice, even though, obviously, when I'm to blind, you get to watch all the fafs that go along with that. But it, I hope I did at least a reasonable showing for the most part for, you know, someone who never played a game like this one before specifically. And, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out when, when, when you were here live or whether you're watching on YouTube. I don't give a shit. Thanks for watching. And uh, next time we start something new, at least next time I do an RPG, I'm sure you're watching something else probably, maybe. And if not, well, either way, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!